Hey everyone, this is me Osama and you're watching the iTech HQ. Now the iPad mini is a great tablet, it's phenomenal. However, the second gen iPad mini is around the corner. Well, in this video we'll be taking a look at what to expect from the second gen iPad mini. Now first of all, the current gen iPad mini is probably awesome from every aspect. The form factor, the thinness, the cameras, the, you know, the speakers, everything is just great. However, there are two main things. There are two things that I don't really like about the Mini. First of all, it's going to be the display. It's a 1024 by 768 display with a PPI of 163, which is basically 163 PP, uh, pixels per square inch. So you can easily distinguish uh, pixels, really. So I need a retina display in the second gen iPad Mini. Now, the retina display can be found on the iPad 3, on an iPad 4. Uh, on iPhone, iPod Touch, and it's basically a display uh, so awesome in a sense it's got so many pixels in it that you just cannot distinguish uh, you know pixels anywhere. So uh, the iPad Mini third generation, the iPad third generation is a great tablet. I use it, and it's probably the still the best tablet around for your money. Now the second thing I'd like to go and talk about is going to be the CPU. Now, a better and powerful CPU will uh, enhance the experience since heavy games like FIFA and a few others actually still lag a little bit on the iPad mini. There are just a little bit of frame drops here and there. But that's pretty much it. And yes, uh, price drop will always be good. So from $329 uh, to $299 is going to be a pretty nice pricing, if you ask me. So guys, that is pretty much it from this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to subscribe, rate, and comment. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out.